and we decided to prank Jackie by leaving the leg by her mic stand. Literally, she walks on stage, plays the first song, Kim, why the hell is there a false leg by my mic stand? And that was she like, Jackie, he's here, he's here. <laughs> so we all having a good time so far at least, yeah? Yes! Thank you so much, Adam, and thank you so much, what was your name? Mutley. Mutley. Oh, like Dastard Mutley. Nice name. Is that your actual name or a nickname? Nickname. Well, it's cool anyway. We like it. Don't we like it, guys? Yeah. Where's your enthusiasm? Don't we love it? Yeah. Woo, that's like it. Okay, so we're going to bring on Adam to tell a couple of little stories about the Bedwars Working Men's Institute. Everyone say hello to Adam. So I've been volunteering here now for the last 10 years. I'm the chair of the committee and this building is reaching its 100th birthday next year. Oh, okay. So we've got a lot of celebration next year for the centenary, so keep an eye out for anything on that. But yeah, as you mentioned earlier, we are a very haunted building. We've got at least seven or eight different spirits that have been found. Oh, you do have three? Oh. Yes, there's only three. There's only three. There's yeah. Only three. Okay, there's only three. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> okay. I promise. We're trying to end this. Bye. They're very friendly, don't worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've had quite a lot of paranormal investigators here who do yeah. ghost hunts. And... So I also heard, aside from the haunted uh, horrors, that you guys have actually hosted a famous Netflix series. Yeah. We have. So. Back a couple of years ago, we had The Crown here uh, filming for the Aberfan disaster episode they had. And they donated these, I don't know if they can be seen on camera, but these amazing murals that we have up on our walls. Um, they originally were a bit worried about putting them up because they damaged the wall, but they then donated them to us for free just to avoid damaging anything more than anything. Yeah, to be honest, I think it is. It does. which without them we would be nothing as a green and a fish for a water. Oh, And so if anyone wants to book this venue, um, they can do that via Facebook, I'm assuming? Yeah, so if they can uh, contact us via our Facebook page, then uh, they can go with the details there. Nice one. Okay, so thank you very much, Adam. Um, I'm sure you were a little bit nervous then at one point, but can we give them a round of applause for coming up? take a moment to introduce the lovely band behind us. Guys, are you ready to start? Yeah? Okay then. So we have a terrific little band with an absolutely amazing lead singer and the guy Pete spoke her up uh, to, like, she's meant to be one with Adele. He said your vocal range is incredible. So I'm really excited to hear you perform. Guys, can we give it up for Midnight Hour?
silence again. Okay, this one's from the 80s. Slurp, slurp. Can I take If you remember this one, it's by Cindy Lopez.
want some cabaret for you now. Are you for that?
Okay, this is definitely our last one now. So we're gonna leave you with a bit of erasure. Nice 
Facebook. Okay, so um, have you got a social media link? We do, Facebook. Yeah. Midnight Hour Band. Midnight Hour Band. And what kind of people do you do? Pubs, clubs, social clubs, everything, don't we? Parties, weddings, parties, but funerals. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I didn't know we had a Jewish community in Kapili, but there we are. It's a new to me. Um, so where are you from? I'm from Cardiff, yeah. We're from Barwood. Aaron, um, where are you from? I can't pronounce it. Aaron? That's Swansea based in Wales, isn't it? Oh, yes. oh like Tristan. <laughs> and from San Tristan. San Tristan. Where are you from? Oh, all over. All over, representing the valleys and South Wales. No, son, I like it. So thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to chat with me. Um, do you ever do solo gigs and things like that? No, no, yeah, I'm feel confident. Uh, well, you seem to be pretty confident when you were up there. I was watching them, um, the lights like, being and it looked great. Oh, it amazing as well. Um, so I would like to ask, if you have any stories uh, from gigs you've done or any events that might have happened, if you want to dish a little dirt on your band, what do you say? Do we? Do we have any funny stories? Come on. They don't need to be clean, I'm sure we don't mind. People tell you. You're the one to talk to about these dirty stories. <laughs> dirty <laughs> stories, oh my gosh. Sounds ominous. What, did he just not shower? Or? <laughs> nice fun. Okay, so thank you so much. And guys, give it up for Midnight Hour! Yeah. And our lovely, lovely pizza! <laughs> nice one, thank you. Okay, guys at home, thank you very much for your patience. Um, we've had a couple of comments. It's actually official. We are continental, baby. Yes, I know, isn't it? Someone shared the link in Philadelphia, so we're being watched around the globe. How exciting is that? What'd you say? Oh, oh, we're gonna go to Dubai as well. Kai, oh, my son cream. What are we gonna do? All right then, so I just wanna shout out um, to Peter's Pies. Um, so some of the guys actually work in the pie factory, not so far away from here. And they have kindly supplied us with backstage food. Um, so can we give it up to Peter Pies? Yes, thank you very much. Um, I love a pasty or two, to be honest, so I can't wait to dig in at the back. Um, and also, I wanna give a shout out to our guys on lights and sound. Can we get a shout out to Lou? They're doing a great job. It all looks so amazing online. Guys at home, please, please, please keep sharing um, with anyone that you can, anyone that's looking for entertainment at home in the garden parties, because it's actually a beautiful day outside and we're all in here like hermits. But online people, it's still not too late to come down, pay on the door, grab a ticket and enjoy yourselves and have a dance with us. And so I wanted to pull up Peter, not Peter, sorry, Councillor Chris. Councillor Chris, have we got you in the audience? Councillor, oh, there he is, making his way to the stage. Peter's pie. Peter's pie. <laughs> oh, no way, have you got a pie in your hand? Yeah. Save the bike for me. <laughs> All right, so guys, give it up for Councillor Chris. <laughs> um, so I just thought while the band's are changing over, if we could get you to chat a little bit about Moose International and what you've done before and why this event is so important. Um, well, to be honest, I, I never done anything for Moose International. I was big Colin and the uh, Moose Head team, that is. Yeah. Um, but, um, the importance of this building and events like this in this building um, is, is says it all really. Um, the building is 100 years old next year. Uh, we've got a um, it's built by the miners, penny a week. Built this as the local entertainment centre for the for the village. There used to be a cinema year. Um, we'd like to bring a cinema back one day. Um, there's a fantastic committee of volunteers run this building on behalf of the community council that own it. Downstairs, 
we've got sprung dance floors, and we've got a good dance floor here. We've got adult education downstairs, classes. It's a fantastic community building, and we couldn't run it without the volunteers that uh, give up their time in order to do it. But we're halfway through a lottery grant, which one day hopefully we'll see an extension and some lifts to uh, for them to, to make the whole community access accessible. Uh, it's so important in any community to have a, a hub for um, events like this, isn't it? Because it really brings people together and um, you get to meet people you never would have met um, at home. Oh, that's right. Uh, like we do New Year's Eve parties here, yeah, and you know, there's 400 people here. Yeah, that's the place is crammed. Proper old-fashioned New Year's Eve parties. And the last two years, we haven't been able to do nothing. So COVID has really hit us, um, but we, we've kept it going, and uh, it's here for people to enjoy. I think people are going to have to watch out for bedless workmen so because this place is going places. It's going to be the main place to go to the Caffini Basin for entertainment and uh, events. So uh, get and support Bedless Workmen so. Yeah, follow them on Facebook, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Councillor Chris. He's making a shift, a swift exit, shift exit, that's my word, then. Um, so, Councillor Chris and Kathleen uh, uh, Council Borough have done a lot of work. The committee have been putting in some really good effort in flyering um, and targeting this event to the population of Kafili, which is absolutely lovely. Um, but like I said earlier, we branched out further than Kafili. We're in Dubai, we're in Philadelphia, we're in the USA, so... Uh, Let's keep rocking, is it? Um, so guys, I'm going to get ready to introduce the next band in about five minutes. And um, please, please donate at home if you're watching online. As much as you can give is fantastic. There should be a link in the comments or throughout the, um, the description of the event online. Okay? Thank you very much for your time.
Sharnas today? Are you crazy? Merci 
se viraram
the venue. Welcome. This is Ukraine Rocks. Can I get a woo? Woo! Can I get a woo? Woo! Woo! I like it. You're all so beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, so we've actually got a very special mascot who has to go home early. So I thought I was going to call him out on stage. And so can everyone shout Yuri after three? last year. Um, he's from the Serbian-Ukraine border. Um, he was found in the street, running over by a car. Didn't know much about him, but a charity contacted us and, uh, and yeah, we adopted him from there and he's my baby. Rumour has it, his name is actually a bit of a, a funny little story. Can you explain that to us? Yeah, because he's a sort of ex-Russian block, if you like. Um, and we're big Star Trek fans um, and space fans, so his name is Yuri Dogarin, and he's named after Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space. So, and he wears his, uh, he wears his little collar, and uh, yeah, he's my baby, Yuri. <laughs> he's got a little sheriff star in his collar, he's so cute. Thank you so much for bringing him out on stage, he's absolutely lovely. Can you get a round of applause? <laughs> Just hold on. 
want to be seated a little bit longer and we'll introduce them when they're ready. Thank you.
Highway. And I just want to give a shout out to Kate with the RBF. If you guys know what that is, you can know, experience it. There, there it is right there. So guys, this is Sonic Highway. They're going to big cheer for that. Give it a laugh. Nice one. Hi guys. Ready to rock? It's very quiet in here. Are you ready to rock?
So, has anybody heard of a band called Thunder? Yes. Have you, Mum? <laughs> of course you have. So you're going to do one by Thunder now. It's a nice, uh, chilled out one. This one's called When Love Walked In. <laughs>
going to introduce the band. I do this every night. This is the lovely Jenna on bass guitar. Say hello, Jenna. Howdy. No swearing. I'll be a good girl. I've warned her. <laughs> Jenna lives in a lovely place called Evervale. Anybody in from Evervale? No. Boo. <laughs> oh, just the one. Yeah, your mum.
next one is called the uh, Highway Tour.
I think it's Guns N' Roses o'clock. Don't you? No. Janet is a Okay, this one is called You Could Be.
song by uh, the band called Wasp now. This one's called Wild Child.
Don't waste any more time, guys. We're only wasted years. Yeah, we're only here once. Trust me. We've wasted enough time now. This was called Wasted Years.
we're gonna do some easy easy. This is our last one, guys. So I'm from Sonic Highway. Thank you for having us. Have a great night. This one is by ACDC.
And I'll just remind her that her fall was live streamed on Facebook. Great! Epic. 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 That's going to make you be framed. Is this still going? <laughs> I would be alright. You'll be fine. You're safe, fit. You're good. Okay, so guys, as you're aware, this event is all about fundraising. We have been made uh, aware that the link for donating on the Facebook live stream isn't working at the moment. So please bear with us, we'll repost it as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, we're all gravy, baby. I would really like to chat to someone from Sonic Highway. What do you think? Do you want to hear what they've got to say? Oh, that was not enthusiastic enough. It's a big call. Do you want to hear that? That's more like it. Thank you. Okay, so we've got Kate. You should have RBF. You like? I know. I know. I have RBF after a gig. Last night, I played the one. The do me for the week. I find the Jaeger bomb so the the um, red bull is like a delayed effect, and then at six o'clock in the morning I'm still awake, like what's going on? <laughs> Halfway through a gig a couple of weeks ago, I was quite tired, so I had one of these glucose tablets, and then I thought, oh they're nice, I'll have another one. And then I popped in the garage in a way and I bought a glucose aid. So I drank that, didn't think anything of it, and then um, Halfway through the game, I was like, oh my god, you to me. And then they were like, yeah, well, you've just had loads of energy drinks, so it does really affect me, like caffeine. <laughs> I thought I was going to pass out. I bet you gave a good show, though, being off your face on caffeine. Yes, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> what is it they say? Is it cigarettes and alcohol? Yeah. But <laughs> you can't be a. Uh, Lucasade and glucose. No, no. Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit more about the platinum? sort of 80s hard rock. And I'll, as you can see, you saw Jenna. That's, that's just typical Jenna. She fell over. Sensible one that makes sure everyone's okay. <laughs> Every band's got about the father, the old name. Are you the mum of the group? Um, well, kind of, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You've organised it all. Oh my gosh, you're making us all Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jenna's got some children and I put it to us. Ah, nice one. Yeah, and so I would like very much if you could come come kind of here and tell us a lovely story about a gig you did in Hengoid. Yeah, you're going to give us a story? Okay, so we did a gig at a sort of pub slash football club and um, when we got there, the football team came out and helped us with our gear. Very nice boys. And the one said, I'm a stripper. We were like, yeah, all right. It's about four foot. <laughs> we were like, okay. And we um, kicked off the gig. And yeah, he stripped to every other song on a chair in front, probably from here to there. So he's there the entire gig. The guys bum out and everything. Oh Did my you God. Right well, Jenna, um, Jenna couldn't play for a while. Lee, Lee struggled. I didn't know what I was doing. We had to sort of face the back. It was horrendous. <laughs> but he had a, a, he's done every other song. So every other song he had a little break. So we had a break? Yeah. 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 Absolutely no clothes on the time. Oh but um, we just ignored him in the end. Yeah, um, yeah. He was doing like a windmill and everything and all. It's terrible. <laughs> When we talked uh, a couple of days ago, you said that you love to put on a show and that your favourite kind of show involves some flammable substances. Yeah, we like pyrotechnics. Do you know what? I wish you brought some. Oh my god, I wish you 
We kind of check with the sort of venue whether the fire alarms go off because that's happened a lot. We sort of stick pyrotechnics to the end of guitars and drums and yeah, sometimes we don't ask a bit naughty, just let it. Sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission, so we get that, we definitely get that. Okay, everyone, give it up to Kate from Sonic Highway. that has been organised is a fundraising event to make money for Ukraine, um, which is organised via the Moose International. So I'm going to call up one of the organisers, Colin Williams. Can I get a hand for Colin Williams, please? Come on, Colin. Don't be shy. Come over here. Say hi. All right then. Everyone, this is Colin. Thank you very much. How is everyone? Have we had a fantastic day you all? Yeah. I've loved it. Yeah. Buggy Oggy Oggy! Buggy Oggy! Ah yes. Well, like I say, let me explain a few things. Um, I'm, uh, I'm actually a member of uh, what they call the Moose, uh, Moose International. And it's a, a fraternity organisation. And basically, what we do, everything that we do is for charity. Um, we've had local people, um, we've had uh, the Air Ambulance Services, Tea Haven, all, all the local uh, charities. And what we've tried to do is as much as we possibly can for them. We're only a small group, there's probably about um, 26 to 28 people in our lateral lodge. But the lodges, are, they, they, they're all around the UK. Our, our main lodge is actually in Green, which is... Um, uh, well, sorry, Western Superman. But uh, it's, it's a country, and uh, this, that's where the actual uh, main, main one is. And like I say, they're a fantastic uh, organisation. We've all got together, we've done a donations uh, appeal, and literally our, our lodge is from floor to ceiling full of clothes, uh, all the items that they would, would, would need, nappies, uh, food stage equipment, and we've been shipping it out out to Ukraine. And obviously this, this appeal has been something that's sort of been at the bottom of my heart. And at the end of the day, it was very difficult for everybody to, uh, to do anything and we felt that we should do something. And th this is the whole idea of the whole event. And like I say, it's been fantastic. The bands have been absolutely fantastic. I mean, brilliant. And we've, we've, had, we've had some a really good, um, uh, you know, everybody's said about it and the feedbacks that we've had have been brilliant. And like I say, let's hope that everything goes fantastic. We've got a lot of bands to come and we're going to have a fantastic night. And we'll probably see you later on because we're going to move as well. All right. Are you going to run away now, Colin? Thank you so much, everyone. Give it up for Colin and what he's got to say.
mají nepřet.
to change you. We're in New York. The gangster's paradise.
playing and they really loved how interesting your colours choices were. How they were in songs that you do every day, and I've got to be honest, I've got to agree. Um, I really loved Never Tear Us Apart. Did anyone else love that one? Yeah! yeah? What was your favourite song?
Okay, um, I just want to plug out the guys from Funny Loaded downstairs. Has anyone eaten from Funny Loaded yet? Oh, lots of hands. What's it good? Yeah, what do you want? Chili cheese fries.
Okay, listen, listen, men. I think as you can see, it just means so much to all of us. Um, we all felt as if we had to do something that we have today. And I'm really proud, and I'm proud to be a part of this. I'm proud, I'm proud of every single band that have kept there under the goodness of their own hearts. And uh, they're going to be big performing. And I tell you what, thank you very much. We're going to take you now to uh, the first stop by the Stereophonics, a local Welsh band, and this is what you can see below
all the way from his house in Pontypool, Mr. Steve Hancock. And on our drums today, we got a Mr. Philip Bendel. And of course, on my right hand side, it's the powerhouse from the north, and Mr. Pete Mayhew. And we can't forget our basics to wherever he's gone. But in Mr. Hugh Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I like to say you can't at the end of the day. My name is Big Cop. I like to I get you who knows me of you. I'm a bit of a character. I like to say it's been a fantastic evening and I tell you what, the day has been brilliant. And I think we 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 do quite well with the with the talkers. So that would be great. You've had some comments, can I read them out to you? So Megan Howell says, well done Daniel Davis and Liam James for helping with such a good cause. You're smashing it boys. Hey. We love it. Like um, and then we had uh, Big Call and the Boys from James Davis. And Lewis Biff said you were sounding cool. He wishes he could have been here. Who was that? I had a few health problems. Um, I've got to mention on the health side of it. Um, our drummer that's normally you, Mr. Clyde Richards. Um, is he here in the house? Clyde? It's Clyde here. Is Clyde Richards here? Clyde? Yes. Here he is? <laughs> this is Clyde. He's had a big, um, a big operation with a uh, bit of cancer. And he's getting over it. I'm hoping we're going to have Mr. Clive Richards back again. Do you want to say something, Clive? Yeah, come on, Clive. You've got to say something. I'll tell you what. Well, I well, just can't wait to get back. We can get back with the boys. We'll be going back. Thank you very much. Have been superb. I really enjoyed every single one of them. I think we've had a 
Saturday evening. I mean, Tim, what is, we've had, we've had it's been a fantastic evening, all day, and I, and I know the whole, the whole, thank you very much, the whole, the bar staff, and, the, and Chris, Chris Morgan, I tell you, we couldn't have done it without you all, but I tell you, it's been a fantastic evening. Fantastic. And if Colin isn't called you, you can actually buy some raffle tickets, we've got our raffle coming up before the last uh, band play, so shoot them down, get, get your tickets in while they are. All of the donations are going straight to the
Caleb Close and Pam Hart by the end of the day, is there? Yeah? Is that too optimistic or should I go higher?
years, maybe in lockdown, but damn if they ain't gonna get up again. Also, this one's for you, Clive.
all of them. Certainly. Right. He jumped with my glasses on, I can't see that set list. Fire the person who wrote the set list. Right.
some money to let me go out for some money in a pub on a Saturday evening. A little football bit time to do this today, it's fantastic. Yeah. I thought the Wilds, they were fantastic to be fair. I'm sorry for you. So I'm resting. Oh, and, uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Shadow's brilliant. And uh, the company was nice to clip. You know.
screen. That's what drugs are really. And then we'll see if I remember the lyrics, because uh, there's a lot of them.
Do you want it heavy? Do you want it moderately heavy? What do you want it? Yeah, we want it heavy. Do you want it heavy? Heavy? Moderately heavy? Yeah. I apologise in advance if I can't the notes because my throat's gone. Because I've been singing along to all your bands today. I look at me, so you'll know I've got what you can't even mean this way. Right. Mr. Miles, when you're ready.
follow it there um, and donate all of your money and all of your hard earned cash. You're worth it. Come on, to it. Let's do it for Ukraine Rocks, which has been awesome so far. And so, have you guys loved all the cover bands? Have you loved the cover bands this evening?
this event. It's absolutely amazing. Give a big round of applause. It's been so amazing fans today, so it's going to be an amazing night to end it. We've got Trent coming and Adam and the Hellcats as well, so stick around. It's going to be amazing. But um, we're going to continue with the show now. And, um, we want to get some people from the top end, the people at the bar. We want to get you down here and dancing. We're going to have a party. Does anyone want to come down? So we just grab something from the bar, just drag them down here.
This one's called Rise, because we want to rise above this.
الفل
David and I request to change the band name to the Wilson Hills. <laughs> This next song was our last single, and um, we would dedicate this to our um, label owner, who um, sadly passed away this week. Um, so it's for Rick. It's just called Social Handles.
song. I hope you've enjoyed us. And thank you everyone for coming and uh, having this amazing course. Um, we've got some merch up there if you want to see us later on, if you fancy buy some merch, you know. Um, anyway, this is the title track of our album, it's called Dark Side. It's the danciest track you'll ever hear tonight. Trust me. But uh, thank you for having us. Enjoy the rest of the evening. We'll be the Autumn Killers. Duncan Richardson, Brian Mike.
jobs um, and you can have your cash when he's leaving. All right? Nice one. Thank you so much for dancing. Are you ready to chat now, girl? Thank you. 
day in whatever way they could. I'm volunteering their time for free for you guys who want to enjoy um, and raise lots of money. So we're going to get a massive round of applause for all of the bands that have come before. Yeah, and next up we've got someone who I'm very excited about. Does anyone know band called
Alltså säger vi bara om Facebook live nu så nu ska vi in. Kan ni bäst skriva via här bidrag till det crowd. And Max as well. Sorry, Sam as well. Like a comedy duo we go with when we get going away. I think my own. So yeah, we've got a bit up tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll try to keep it clean. And you don't believe how hard it is. So this one is also uh, another new one, which is going to be on the second EP. And uh, it's called Regret. Hope you like it. Thank you. 